the Northern Territory, Australia has something for every type of traveller. There's culture, history, wildlife and adventure. In this video, I'm going to take you through the top things to do in the Northern Territory. Matt Wright's Top End Safari Camp is that perfect mix between adventure and luxury. Lamp under the stars whilst getting that full outback experience. So one of the activities on offer here is a ride on one of their airboats. And this is actually my first time going on an airboat. It's pretty cool. It means that you can get into some of the areas of the water that you wouldn't be able to with a propeller boat because obviously it would get stuck and turn up too much of what's going on underneath the surface. And there's loads to see around here. There's crocodiles, loads of different types of birds, lots of different fish. So, pretty cool afternoon planned. Cyclone Creek. We've just been served some nice snacks and some of the guys are doing a bit of fishing out the back. This is a very relaxed pace. We've seen some seagulls flying above as well. So the final activity of the day before we get a bit of time to chill around the fire with a drink is a helicopter ride and we're all pretty excited. So Molly and Matt who I'm with they said it's gonna be the first time they've been in a helicopter and we'll definitely get an amazing view of where we just were on the boats. I can actually hear the helicopter coming back just now, so we should just be about ready to go. had dinner and now we're gonna sit down underneath the stars for a campfire and it was an absolutely gorgeous sunset so this is a very nice way to end the day. So this is the shower which is brilliant I love an outside shower. <laughs> so let's go inside. This is so cute it's like a little hobbit house. So you can open up all of these to let some air in and some light in. They call it glamping, but I mean, it's actually got a lovely double bed. So very fancy glamping. We've just arrived at Top Didge Art Gallery and Cultural Experience. And today we're going to be learning from Manuel. And he is an indigenous person who actually grew up in the bush here in the Northern Territory. And he's gonna be telling us some stories about his family, his upbringing, and also showing us how to make a fire from scratch, which is brilliant. Cause actually that's gonna be the first time that I've ever tried that. <laughs> So we're now on to the painting segment of our day. Manuel's going to take us step by step to create our art pieces. And then that much, see? And then push and drag. Oh yes, ready. And what, see? Turn them this way. So 
So we're just practicing on the cardboard at the moment, which seems like a sensible idea as it's quite an intricate thing that Manuel made look very easy. But these are at least fairly straight, so I'm pleased enough with that. When you rub them down. Right. Yep, stop. stop. This is actually the first time I've ever tried this. It's good fun. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm getting a bit of smoke. A little tiny bit. Yeah, don't want to smoke. Oh, look at you go. Oh, straight away. That was so quick. You want it up. What the hell? So this evening, I've come to experience a dinner event which is so famous and successful that it's actually been initiated into the Australian Tourism Hall of Fame. It's been running for 25 years and it's called Sounds of Silence. So I'm stood here now with a glass of champagne and we've got some canapes coming as well. I've got Aluru behind me and Katajudra over there. The sun is setting and this is just going to be the most magical four hours of food, drinks, and Outback experience. Cheers. So we've just walked down towards our lovely spot for dinner. We've got the didgeridoo playing there. We've got fire pits, Katajuta behind me. And this is a lovely group activity. So there's quite a few people that we don't know sat at the table, but that's one of my favorite things about travel, meeting other people and hearing their story. So everything here for our main course is bush tucker inspired. So I've got barramundi and down here looks like some kangaroo. <laughs> so we have just had the most magnificent night. This was definitely one of the highlights for me on my trip in Northern Territory. We've had amazing conversation with really lovely people, great food. We've had a guided tour of the night sky and just a generally lovely time and it really does feel like a very special experience. We've come to look around an indigenous rock art site and this is famously one of the best examples of ancient rock art in the whole world. It's particularly a very popular spot at sunset. A lot of people come at dusk to watch the sun setting over the rocks. This is obviously a very unique and beautiful place to visit and the signs here explain quite clearly that this is of course indigenous land and the land has simply been leased to the government of Australia in order for them to turn it into a national park that everyone can enjoy. So this area is one of the main galleries and the sign there explains that actually animals quite often appear in the indigenous rock art and that if a hunter was particularly proud of a catch then there would be some art dedicated to that so you can see quite a lot of animals and fish all over the walls so for the indigenous people here where their stories and lessons weren't written down then the rock art was and still is a way to pass on teachings and stories some of these date back to thousands of years ago. So just behind me is the absolutely incredible piece of art by Bruce Munro called Fields of Light. And this is made up of some 50,000 different colored solar lamps, which are flickering in the shadows of Uluru. It's the size of seven football pitches and it's clearly an incredibly popular installation as it started in 2016 and it's now just been renewed for quite a few more seasons. So we're 
spending the next few hours at Catherine Hot Springs, which, as you can tell by the name, is a geothermal pool, which is just a couple of kilometres outside of Catherine. And it's such a peaceful area, considering it's near a built-up town, then it's really peaceful. It's got lots of lovely shady trees, and there's actually quite a few different pools, and they have got walkways, so it is quite easy to walk around. And they're varied temperatures actually. The one that I just went in was about 25 degrees. So I'm going to go and try some of the others. So this area is actually quite cool. Supposedly it's 25 to 30 degrees, but maybe the air temperature is so warm. It actually feels fairly cool in here. Apparently this one is warmer. So we'll try this. It's also got a fun rope swing as well. Even though it's so close to town, it's incredibly peaceful here and it's not too busy on a weekday either. And this pool is lovely and warm. It's so refreshing though. So one of the top things to do at Coinda Lodge is try one of their indigenous tasting menus. And this is an absolutely incredible platter that I've just been served. I've got buffalo, kangaroo, uh, Barramundi ceviche, which looks absolutely amazing, and a big selection of different chutneys. Okay, so we're gonna go straight in with the crocodile, which is battered, as you can see. Hmm. That's actually really, really delicious. <laughs> Fish. Yeah, I think it tastes much more fishy to be honest. It's quite a meaty fish, if you can see in the middle there. Hmm. It's got a bit of a calamari texture, although that's probably the batter more than the inside. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the Barramundi ceviche. I'm a big ceviche fan anyway. Wow, that's incredible. So many flavors going on there. Super, super fresh. Everything we've tried so far has been absolutely incredible. And I always think that food is a very good way to get to know a place and get to know a culture. And this tasting platter is definitely a good way to start. <laughs> 